I felt like I didn't really have a lot of opportunity and choices to make. My parents are immigrants, so I feel like my life pretty much like followed that. Like, oh, my came to the U.S. and my daughter's gonna be an engineer and we're gonna have a successful life. And so I grew up and feeling like my life was already planned out. I had to follow these steps in order to get there. They consistently always told us that they came here so we could get an education and that that was the goal. They wanted to see us pursue a college degree and have these opportunities that, you know, they didn't have when they were younger. I feel like, you know, at a young age, it was always like put into my head that I, I need to support my parents. Like I'm like the retirement plan. I didn't even know like there were art classes or anything. Like I think they had like very limited art classes in my high school and stuff, but it was always like, oh, art's not gonna get you money. So you can't, you know, go that direction. I had a lot of peers that had more financial support and I saw that difference in class. People had like private tutors and and they had like private like college advisors and that helped them study for like the SATs and all that and I didn't have that. And also being like first generation where it's like, oh, I have to figure out how I'm gonna apply to college, fast information and doing all this on my own because my parents, they, they didn't know anything about that. So that quickly kind of like ruined my spirit and like motivation of like pursuing engineering. Cause like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach that cause I have all these obstacles in front of me. So my senior year in high school, I started kind of like, I got into photography. I, I got my first camera and I just quickly changed my major from engineering into art. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do art, which is scary. My parents didn't like that idea. They're a little upset at first, but they've seen me kind of like progress in my art career and seen that like, oh, this is, she actually has like a chance to do this. That has been really helpful and they've been really supportive now yeah my purpose of creating artwork is just to better understand myself as a person and as a fat individual dealing with like a really fat phobic world and constantly feeling shamed and like feeling like i didn't deserve to take up space seeing that other people are empowered and relates to my artwork it makes me feel like i do deserve space and i could share my experience and story through my artwork you know, when you're coming from a low income family and low income community, um, they don't, people don't have like money to be able to pay for classes regularly. And that leaves off like people not having those opportunities. And that's something that I would like to do going into teaching and just, you know, sharing all the skills and knowledge that I've picked up to other youth in my community, especially providing like free programs and free services and stuff like that. I feel like that's super important. That's a good question. <laughs> Hold on, let me think about it.